today we're gonna finally take apart the suspension. All of it. Alright, so 90% uh, of these bolts are 17 millimeters. Um, for a car that's 20 something, almost 30 years old, uh, don't expect to save much of anything if it's a boot or a ball joint or anything rubber or has to do with anything rubber. It's old and easy to replace, and that's why I was saying I'm going to replace most of the stuff. The shocks are blown, the ball joint boots. That's not gonna hold anything. Tie rod boot, that's complete trash. So I mean, probably even a, a rack and pinion. But yeah, so that's just what I'm doing. I'm gonna take everything apart. Uh, trying not to get attacked by spiders. But yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, so tie rod's the 17, upper ball joint's the 17. Uh, lower ball joint, I'm sure, is a 17. The uh, strut fork is a 17. The upper control arm bolts are 17s. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and tear all this apart and uh, show you what it looks like after I'm done. Alright, and that's pretty much how you take out the knuckle and the lower control arm, or part of the lower control arm. The other part's there. Um, I can't get a gun up in there, so I'll have to do a wrench um, or wait till I drop the whole subframe, which I am going to do. Uh, and as for this, that's disconnected. So then for the struts, all I have to do. Straps out, and then the control arm. Up the control arms out. So yeah, that is how you take apart a suspension. Uh, I'm gonna press the bearings out and then send the knuckle over to my buddy. Uh, 
once his video is up, he's going to help me sandblast it and powder coat it. Once all that's done, I'll post a, a link in my next video or in this video uh, to his channel so you guys can watch him. He does a lot of carburetor stuff, but um, he just got a sandblaster and a powder coating station, so he said bring it over and he'll do it for me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to strip and clean all this stuff underneath here and recoat it. Uh, I might wait until I actually get an air compressor so that I can do like a raptor landing or something like that. Uh, I've heard some really good stuff about them. Uh, I want to try it out, make it look nice. Can't do the other side until I fix that hole. Can't fix the hole until I fix my welder. I don't know what's wrong with my welder. I just might go buy a cheap one from uh, Harbor Freight because I've seen a lot of YouTubers use a $100 one from Harbor Freight and it works wonders apparently. We got my twelve, thirteen hundred dollar one. Can't do shit. I think the uh, voltage regulator. I don't know. I don't know much about welders. Uh, what the 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 power the power knob? I think is stuck on high. No matter what one I put it on, because one little single tap and it blows a huge hole in all this metal. And everyone's like, "Oh, this Honda metal is thin." Yeah, but still. Low settings of everything, I mean, it shouldn't blow through it. Um, I've seen people weld razor blades together with really expensive welders. So, I mean, if you can do razor blades, you should be able to do Honda metal. But yeah, once again, it's all nice and clean. Um, I'm going to do the other side, and uh, I'll show you guys how to drop the subframe. Um, it's pretty easy. If you drop your subframe and you put it back up, you will need an alignment. I don't care what anyone says, you will need an alignment. Um, same with doing a rack and pinion, you will need an alignment. Um, there's ways you can do it at home. Uh, it's time consuming and tedious, but it does work. Uh, or you can go spend the 75 bucks and get one done at a local tire shop. Uh, or like my local tire shop, I think it's like 140 for a one year. Um, so I can go in every other day if I wanted to and get alignment done. But anyway, uh, just rambling. Uh, people are asking about the next giveaway. I'm gonna go for 300 subscribers. What I'm giving away, I don't know. Uh, maybe a TC part this time. If not, maybe just a gift card or like a, a tool set or something. I don't know. You you guys comment. Tell me. Let me know. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel, man. I'm 159 subscribers. I'm trying to make that YouTube money so I can give it all back to you guys. But, uh, yeah. Pass it around. Let me know. Uh, you guys have a great weekend. See you in the next video. Space Machine. <laughs>